Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update review on this Louis Vuitton men's wallet. This is the Amerigo wallet in the Damier Graffiti print. So the Amerigo wallet does have a lot more card slots than a regular wallet does. Um, I did do a review when it when we did receive it, so it's brand new. This one's two years old, so I want to give you guys an update on it. I also did a Slender ID wallet um, review, so I will go ahead and link that below. So go ahead and check those videos out if you want to. So this is going to be a two-year update review. Um, there is a lot of wear and tear on this wallet. Of course, men's wallets do go through a lot more um, beating than a woman's wallet because I feel like women's wallet are placed in a safe place like a purse rather than the back pocket and when you do sit on it it does start to mold and start to um, kind of like this one is it's kind of like warping so this wallet is going to be needing re-varnishing and re-stitching and I will show you where um, exactly so the varnishing on the canvas wallets will wear off eventually. The um, varnish is really thick coated at one time but as time goes by it does get wear and tear and it does crack and crease and just wear off. So right here um, you can see that it's already fading and you can kind of see like right here the inner stitching is already um, showing because it did crack right here where the varnishing is wearing off so when the varnish wears off it starts to crack when they did sew the two canvas pieces together the actual stitching isn't coming undone but the inner stitching in between the varnishing is coming undone only because the varnish is cracking and it's becoming separated so therefore it's showing so it's not a bad thing it just needs to be fixed so um, that is one thing that I did see that is um, going to be needing to be fixed. Um, other than that, like the canvas, when you sit on it, it's going to reshape itself. And so that is going, so therefore it's already kind of warping right there. So other than that, like the card slots, they just become a little bit more wider and bigger as you do place cards in because at one time it was so tight and it was like this almost but now that the card slots are used that they're a little bit more open and um, see this one isn't you this one wasn't used so it, it's already um, it's like tight and it's like staying close these ones were used so they're kind of like opening up a little bit the zipper, I don't have any problems with this zipper. It was, it never got stuck. It actually opens better when it's used more because it doesn't get stuck. Um, rather than a new zipper, you kind of have to break it in. But the zipper is very well um, durable and I give it um, its best rating. I've never had any problems with the zipper so I... Um, I really do like the zipper compartment it comes in handy and then of course it does come it gets wider if you do want to put more stuff in there it does um, become a little bit more wider but I wouldn't recommend that because your wallet wouldn't really close that much but it is there optional for you to have another um, question people do want to know is if the ID card slot gets grimy and you can see that it is scratched up a lot. I wouldn't say that's grime, it's scratched um, and I don't know how to fix it. I've never really tried wiping it down or anything because it's just gonna get like that um, over time but another thing people do want to know is what does it look like when there's an ID in the card slot because I did mention in my other video that this is more of a square than a rectangle ID holder. So I do have a gift card and I just want to place it in here for y'all so y'all can see what it looks like because I did mention that it doesn't really look that bad but it kind of bothers me. So it being a square, um, all the rectangle IDs and cards and everything, it's going to show on the top and the bottom. So this is what it looks like with a regular rectangle card or ID in place. 
So, I mean, it might not look that bad to some people, and um, it might make some people like, that doesn't look right. So, um, this might not be your best option if you do like everything perfectly placed and stuff, but after a while, like, you get used to it, and it's not really that bad, um, but it is wide enough for your ID to easily um, slide in and out for those that do have to constantly take their ID out. So yeah, this is um, what it looks like and you can also like place like a small picture right here or something just to have, you know, just so you can have something in your wallet, sentimental, something that means a lot to you. Um, it does look cute, so yeah. And this first slot card slots these are the ones that were used the most so this is what it looks like after two years you can just see the spacing it it did get a little bit looser and it's not as tight so that's the only thing um, that does happen when the card slots are used but other than that like there's just no tearing so I would say that this is very good quality there's no ripping right here and the creases are at the ends, so that's really good. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it on this wallet. You've got the card slots that I did talk about. You have the zipper that I also did talk about. And then the ID slot, what it looks like. So that's pretty much it. And then just like the, the money slot holder, like, it's nothing much to this one. It doesn't really... I mean, it expands out, but it, nothing happens to that. It's just... It goes back to normal once you close it up. So this is what it looks like after two years. And I think it's in decent um, condition. The only thing that you might have to do is just get it re-varnished and re-stitched. But other than that, like I think this wallet will um, carry a long life ahead. And um, that's pretty much it. Let me see if I can give you a close-up on the stitching. So right here on the stitching, you can see that it is going it's cracked so you see how I'm peeling it back yeah so that needs to be revarnished so then that can stay um so that can stay closed and then the stitching the stitching can just go back right inside here I'm gonna kinda tuck it in so you can just tuck it in hold on so yeah um, you can just tuck it in and then you kind of just kind of press it back and it will kind of like fix the issue temporarily but you eventually do need to get it taken in at a um, Louis Vuitton store so they can get it sent out for repair. So yeah, other than that, this is what it looks like after two years and so I hope this helps anybody that's trying to figure out what wallet is worth having um, for the long run because I know these aren't um, cheap at all so these wallets are an investment because I feel like they do last a while so this is just a small update review I hope I didn't miss anything and if I did then let me know and I can answer it um, in the comments down below so yeah so this is it to the Amerigo wallet two-year review update and so I think that is it and so thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel um, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!